Hi ho friends, welcome back to another video. Now normally we look through a bag of my thrift store finds, but today I have a very special video for you. We are going to be looking through a bag of thrift store finds that was gifted to me by my friend Magic Summer Vintage. Anne and I have been friends for a very long time, but we no longer live in the same state or the same city like we used to. So all year long, we save up thrift store finds for each other. And when she comes to visit me in the summer, we swap and it's like Christmas. So these are some of the things that she found for me during the year. I usually save up um, vintage clothing that I find for her. She likes to list that. I don't. So it's a perfect swap. And today we're mostly going to be looking at Care Bears, vintage Care Bears from the 1980s. Probably some that you had when you were younger, definitely some that I had when I was younger. And we are going to start today off with my very favorite Care Bear, Bedtime Bear. Now the vintage ones have a fully embroidered tummy patch. Bedtime Bears is a moon and a little star buddy and he's got his little tongue and he has sleepy eyes he is mint green at least the vintage version is mint green he has his little hair tuft and on the back is the care bears heart that's a plastic little heart it should say care bears but his has a um some wear to it this was made in 1983 and I actually had the small version of this. So the main bears all came in this large version and about a half size version. So I had the half size version of Bedtime Bear. And basically my whole life, mint green has been one of my very favorite colors. So we're gonna go to another mint green but it is not a Care Bear, it is a Care Bear Cousins. Basically, the Care Bears took off so well that the company was like, hey, what can we do to kind of keep this thing going? And they felt limited by having just bears, so they opened it up to all animals, and we're just gonna call them the Cousins. And uh, I think the Cousins did just as well as the Care Bears did, so brava. Um, this one that we have to look at is a lamb. She is Gentle Heart Lamb, and her tummy patch is like a cushion, like a very cozy pillow. She has her tongue, little lock of hair, and her butt heart says Care Bear Cousins. And she was made in 1984, so it really didn't take them very long to kind of get the cousins going. Um, but she is so cute. I never had any of the cousins growing up. I just had regular cousins, my own cousins. Okay, so yellow, the color, has never really done a whole lot for me. Um, so I did not have any of the bears that were in the yellow-orange category. That's always going to be my last pick. Um, but Funshine Bear is adorable look at the little patch it's a sun and look she has like the best eyelashes she's got some little eyebrows as well that's what the Care Bears heart looks like and she was 83 sunshine bear next up we have Friend Bear. Friend Bear has two little flowers. And this is like kind of a peach color, but um, as time progressed, Friend Bear got more orange um, over time. No tongue for, for Friend Bear. I don't know if they all originally came with tongues or not. Hard to say. Okay, I feel like this is a, a lesser known bear. This is Hugs. She is one of the twins. Uh, her brother is Tugs. And her little symbol is a heart opening up with a little 
um, star buddy. She has a diaper that has her actual tummy symbol on the diaper. She has a little tongue and she is a little bit smaller of a bear. Light pink, very cute. Tugs, I mean hugs, sorry. Now somebody has to watch these children and guess who that falls to? Graham's bear. Graham's is actually a little larger than the regular um, Care Bears in this line. And she originally came with a shawl. This one does not have a shawl, but you see she has some color in her cheeks. That's from running after the twins all day long. Um, and her tummy symbol is a beautiful rose with a bow. She still has the heart. And she was made in 83 but she's a little more hefty. She's a little larger than the other bears. Now, I have another 80s toy um, that is not a Care Bears, a plush that I'm sure a lot of you will recognize. This is a popple. They have the little symbol and it's a ball and a doll because in the 80s, they had a really hard time making stuff just one thing. It has to be, you know, a truck and a robot. Um, everything has to be two times the fun, wrapped up and rolled into one. If you know where that's from, leave me a comment and we'll be friends. So this is Potato Chip. She's one of the smallest of the original line of Popples. Let's see if she has a tag that will tell us when she was made. 1986 and she's in great condition now vintage popples um, bring a nice amount of money it is getting harder and harder to find them and it's getting harder to find them in good condition and she is in fantastic condition so way to go magic summer vintage very excited to get her listed okay so Magic Summer Vintage doesn't just bring me toys to sell. Um, you know, as you know, I sell stuff all over the board. So she will just bring me things that she thinks are beautiful. And she's got very good taste. So this was one of the last things that she picked up before she came to visit me. And it is a vintage hat. It's um, in a pillbox style, but it's made completely of netting. And then it has the net on the front, little veil. Um, and it has little, these are little like chenille pom-poms all on it. And then it has this beautiful bow on top. And inside is an adorable little detail, the little heart. And it's not something that you would notice from the outside but it's just for you on the inside while you're getting ready. I'm not really gonna attempt to put this on because I look crazy in a hat, but um, it's just so beautiful. Like part of me wants to keep it just for display. I'm gonna try not to, but it is, it's that cool looking. Just, just lovely. Then we have this other hat. This is a navy blue number and it is made of ribbon with netting on the top. So this ribbon, I don't know if you can tell, is like woven together. And then it has a layer of navy blue netting all over the whole top. I love to imagine living in a time where, you know, you had to have a hat to match every outfit. I mean, it seems like a lot of freaking work and probably not something I would have enjoyed, but, um, you know, when you think about something, you can live in that fantasy for a minute, but not actually have to have gone through it. And um, it's much better in fantasy, I'm, I'm sure. So this hat is a conundrum. And um, it's quite spectacular. It actually sort of matches my outfit for today. Um, but it has a lot of, not exactly bow, but a lot of situation happening in the back. Um, it does have a little 
band to hold it on, which makes me think that it may have been a dance recital hat. I mean, if you've ever been to a dance recital or you've seen pictures of your friends when they were in dance recitals, they put these children into some funky costumes, like some circus act level costumes. So that could be what's going on here, or it could just be a fun vintage hat that some woman decided to wear at some point. Or some human, you know, whoever thought the hat was beautiful. But, um, I like to wear earrings that are kind of this much. Oh, and speaking of which, these earrings were given to me by Magic Summer Vintage this time. I love vintage lucite earrings with glitter and bits inside. Sometimes it's like that aquarium gravel and sometimes it's glitter and sometimes it's confetti. Um, oh, I love them all. And I wear them. They're clip-on. And I just happen to be one of the people who has made herself wear them so much that I'm used to clip-on earrings now. So, got that going for me. She also brought me a vintage purse. I do sell vintage bags. Um, I don't find a whole lot of them that are interesting enough, um, but I collect them myself, so I guess half the time I'm keeping them for myself. But um, this one has some nice metal work on the top. And the inside still has the stuffing. You know, you just never know what you're going to find in a used purse. I have found money, which is always fun. I have found um, used tissue, which kind of you find a lot, honestly. And the best thing I think I've ever found is a part of a human tooth. You just never know what's going to wind up in a lady's handbag. Okay. This item I was present for when uh, Magic Summer Vintage bought this. Um, this was when I was still living in New York State and we were going to estate sales on the regular. Uh, she saw this in one of the photos of the estate sale. We looked for it everywhere, could not find it. And finally, I was in the bathroom looking around and found a stack of towels. And I was kind of paging through the towels and I found it. Someone had hidden it to try to come back later and buy it at a discount. I'm not going to say I've never done that, but um, I have found it way more times, found things that people have set aside, um, hoping that they've, you know, hidden it in a very good way, like they're freaking squirrels or something. This is knitting needles, a whole knitting needle set. It has its original Boil Needle Master pamphlet, and it's a beautiful rainbow of colors, and... One of the best parts, I think, since I'm not a knitter or crocheter at all, is the case. Look at that mid-century goodness. And the case is in fantastic condition. I think that they're missing a couple of needles inside, but I'm still happy to get to have another go-around with this guy. Okay. Ooh, here's a... Here is another vintage 80s item. A little tin lunchbox. I call these lunchboxes, but there's no way my like 80s self was going to carry this instead of one of those awesome plastic lunchboxes. But it's strawberry shortcake. Let's see if I can catch a date on this baby. No. Um, but that's fun. I used to keep, I had one um, that was like white and it had like a heart that was done in rainbows, um, very 80s. And I kept some crayons and art supplies in mine. I'm sure that shocks nobody who knows me. But um, if you had one of these, let me know if you actually took it to lunch or if you kept other things in it. Let me know down in the comments. Okay, I think that's all we're gonna look at for today. Um, I want to remind you to like this video, 
and subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment because those things all help immeasurably on YouTube. And um, I want to give a shout out to a couple people who left me comments on my last video, the Barbie clothes video. Um, shout out to Crystal Butterfly, who let me know that these items actually were hers when she was younger, and they were made by her mother, Dorothy. She was very happy to know that they're still around. And I was very happy to have that part of a story, that kind of thing, you guys, that kind of thing is so much fun for me. Um, you know, just seeing the history of something and how it was loved from the moment, you know, it was actually created by somebody's mom and how it's still being loved today and how it was saved from, you know, the garbage, the dump and how it will get into loving hands again very soon. Very excited about that. Also, shout out to Rugob. No idea if I'm saying that correctly. But um, for giving me information about some of the ones that were not handmade, but that were actual, actually from the Mattel Barbie line, um, so that I know the names of some of the fashions, which helps so much when you're going to list something. Um, very, very fun information. Thank you so much. Um, also, if you hit the bell notification um, on the page, there's a little bell, and if you press it, you will get notified when I put up a new video. I'm trying to put up a video about once a week. Sometimes it's not going to be exactly once a week, so um, if you don't want to keep checking back and you just want to be notified whenever a new video goes up, go ahead and hit the bell notification. I'm going to put some links below including um, a link to my Instagram. On my Instagram stories, I post a picture of every single thing that I list right after I list it. So if you are interested in getting first dibs on stuff, following me on Instagram is a great idea. Um, I try not to be too boring, so you can just enjoy a lot of pictures of my dog and um, pictures of vintage stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put links when this stuff is listed down below, but I will also put links to other stuff that is similar. I have a bunch of Care Bears already listed. So, um, you know, if you're really jonesing for a Care Bear, you can get your fix right away. And other than that, I just wanna invite you to go out and find treasure. I'll see you again next time.